Hey guys, VBad here with another V Plays, and we're going to be hopping into a game called Shipbreaker. Now, Shipbreaker is an alpha right now. It is still very early release, and it just looked like a fun, relaxing game. A little bit of a change of pace. It's going to be a solo game that's kind of kind of be on my own timetable. So I'm going to play a couple of missions, I guess, and see where we end up. The uh, basic premise of the story is that we are let's uh let's let's start a new guy let's start a new guy because i want you guys to experience the beginning with me here but you're essentially in this well it's going to tell you right right now humankind has industrialized much much of the solar system earth has deteriorated into a place of squalor and decay in orbit a new breed of worker has emerged the ship breaker the labor is extremely dangerous but for a select few the hazard Hazard pay is worth the risk. So, much like a lot of games I've played that have something to do with the future, there's usually some type of dystopia or something going on. Hopefully they play the intro for us here. Is it neat poem? I hope I never see a, live to see a world like that. I mean, it's nice that we're in space and all, but... Alright, so this is gonna be us. There's supposed to be some good physics mechanics going on in this game. There we go. We got three different things we need to kind of be pulling. We got like a barge. That usually is for like electronic components and stuff. We got a processor for moving like the um, some of the metal plates and stuff. And then we also salvage some of the metal into a furnace. So go ahead and good morning. <laughs> Minimum payment. So we actually have some points we can spend. So I'm going to go to equipment real quick. And we can actually upgrade some stuff, like the range of our cutter. That's cool and all, but I think I'm going to go back to... I would like to upgrade my thruster's power. Thank you. And then the grappler. It's not the range, but it's definitely going to be the strength I want to upgrade. And I can't get much more than that. Uh, helmet, O2 capacity, ship, a little bit more armor. Ooh, this is for sound. I'm gonna turn this on because it should make it so we can hear in space a little bit better, which is gonna be good for you guys, so. Anything else for the grappler here? Oh, that's going to cost 200. That's going to cost 150. We're down to 100. All right. We just, so we're in debt about, uh, what is that, a billion credits right there? Or is that a trillion? No, it's a billion. Okay. That's a decimal point. So we're in debt about a billion credits. So we got to start our shift. We got to view the ship catalog. So, oh, what we got here? Our. So I'm kind of stuck with between these two ships I can start with. I'm going to start out with a basic ship just to get started because 
I've only done the tutorial so far, so let's go ahead and get into it with something a little bit easier, and maybe we'll venture out from here. Now there is, you know, the uh, Newtonian physics in this, so like my hands are off the controls and I am drifting, but there is a stabilizing feature we can use. So we can kind of stop ourselves if need be. I go ahead and grab this. I can actually shoot that down to the uh, arch down below. And if you're confused as to which parts go where, you can see right above that yellow bar on the bottom, there's actually going to be a um, indicator telling you which parts go where. Like these say blue for the processor. We're going to slam on the brakes here. I'm going to attach the tether down to the base down there. I'm going to take our cutting device and we're going to cut this yellow brick right here, which is going to be the thing stabilizing this thing. So if we pull this, it'll grab that piece right there and shoot it on down. Now we don't have to use the tethers, which is good because the tethers were actually a little bit limited on. The faster we do this, the better. As you can see, there's actually a timer in the upper right. But I'm not too, too concerned about that. So we did upgrade this thing, so let's see what we can do here. Salvage secured. Account Come credit on. applied. No. Not quite enough. Let's do the pusher. She is moving, just not fast enough. Oh, it's pushing us more than anything else. Oh, come on, full thrust forward. Here we go. I may just need to do that. I don't think I have much of a choice here. So now, according to the tutorial, we need to go inside now and start tearing this thing apart because there's going to be a bunch of bulkheads we can use. So hit the brakes, turn on our headlamp. Airlock pressure this thing's dropping. pressurized, so we can die from explosive decompression, deposit. actually, even Private though we're in a space suit, because we'll try and get sucked out through a crack. Airlock so I don't want to start cutting this until we've lowered the pressure. So we got to go through and do the whole airlock thing. And once we do this, airlock pressure levels dropping. we can now... Shut this thing down. Now I gotta be careful of that. That's a reactor. But I would like to open this thing up. Do space real quick. There's that. Need to salvage the reactor and a bunch of nano carbons, so. Looks like this panel is loose right now. get all of these loose if we're careful. There we go. We push all these out maybe. I missed one over here. Yeah, we did. A little bit disorienting. Come on. There we go. So let's turn ourselves around a little bit. We're gonna go... Oh. That is not what I wanted. Come on. No. You're stuck still. How about you? Are all these jammed in here a little bit too tight? There we go. There we go, there we go, okay. Let's do this. Link all these together, just like they did in the intro. Caution, tether supplies are low. No, don't tell me that. See what we can do here. Come on, pull them all. Object accepted for processing. Here we go. Credit deposited. Getting that one. Warning, 
Warning. Tethers depleted. Now, yeah, now. Hopefully those will pull that in. But in the meantime, we are running a little bit low on oxygen. So let's do this. These things, reactors, as soon as you pull them, they start getting dangerous. So we don't want it to bump into anything. And we also don't want to be near it. We're just going to fling that in. That is locked up. Running low on oxygen now, so let's get back in here. Hey, Conan, I need you to head back to the kiosk on the starting platform to fill up your rope, too. I'm glad he's paying attention. So it does cost credits to do anything in this game. So if we want to fill up our O2, it's going to cost us a thousand credits. I also want to refill the tethers. Because we're going to need those for what we're about to go do. So we got a bunch of nanocarbon from the metal plates, but we've only taken out the floors. So let's go and see what we can do about taking out maybe one of the ceilings. Let's see. Usually nanocarbon is going to be the exterior. And aluminum is going to be like the interior panels. There's that one. We gotta be careful not to let this thing overheat because it will injure us. See it getting hot on the gun over there. Oh no, why are you stuck? Object there we go. We just hit the threshold on that. Work order is complete. So I think that's it for today, actually, if we've done all that, so... Now we also have durability on the tools, and if you see my saw, my split saw over here is actually kind of damaged as well. We got seven minutes left though, so hmm, what do we want to do here? I think I'm gonna detach the back end. There we go. I get in here? Ooh, not quite what I needed. All right, let's go back outside. I look like there was something we could detach over here. These things right here. And we can pull that part and put it down to the processor. Okay. Pull you out? Yeah, we can. There we go. Ooh. Valuable object process. Not that super easy to drive around these parts. we cut this or no? Doesn't look like we can. But this is gonna go to the processor. Can we move this yet? Or is it still attached somehow? Might still be attached somewhere. All right, so since the work order is complete, here's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna head back. Oh, hey. Got about 
about five minutes left in this shift, Cutter. Don't bite off more than you can chew. We wrap. I know, not the most riveting thing in the world, but like I said, we're just doing this to relax a little bit. It's all money from here. Now pull that. Wait. Can't pull you either. What about in here? Oh, we can pull this. Ooh, you almost pulled us in there. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Ooh. Almost pulled me in on that one. Cutter, make your way back to the kiosk on the starting platform to fill up your own too. Yeah, yeah, I know. Trust me on this one. We were out. Look at this plate. Not the only cut and rig out here either, all those octagons. Let's end our shift. Not sure if that fills our oxygen or not, but we just made 1,108,000 credits. Yeah, we're making our way through our debt. Apparently we broke a light though. Let's complete our shift. What else do we got? Good morning, shipbreaker. Looks like we got some points to spend if we so choose. Oh, they they took some money back. <laughs> Interest, bay fee, bay transportation fee, cutter rental, grabber. Oh man, that's they took about half of our credits for that one. All right, so let's just start our shift. Um, we don't get to see what our missions are yet, do we? We're still class one furniture. We need furniture, work order completion, and a power cell. All right, well, let's finish with what we are doing. Looks like the ship is listing just a little bit. can't pull that, can we? I don't think we can. Tethers are in the top left. There they are. Wasn't sure where they were hiding at. What happens if we go in here? Let me... Ooh, there's a bunch of components in there. Am I getting it? Oh, we're getting we're getting some separation here. Can we push these apart. Nope. I can push myself away pretty quick though. Ooh. How do I get you apart? Is there nothing we can do here? Oh, you know what? We can do this.
There it goes. Now we can get inside the ship. Oh. Raw material process. Credit deposited. There we go. Oh, this is because that's the... Is that the cockpit we're near now? Ooh. I if that's going to start shifting. we got should be just about it right a uh, good way to tell is if I hit that yeah that's something separate so this is gonna go into the processor caution tether supplies running low oh you're not separate yet but you are. Valuable object process. Credit deposited. Here we go. Apparently, I was supposed to take these lights off. Am I upside down? Man, I am way upset. There is no up in space. Deposit accepted. Credit to transfer. Oh, it is separate. Will you pull away? Yeah, there she goes. Nice. Go back and get some O2. Gonna need that oxygen. Valuable object. Credits awarded. There we go. Definitely need some more tethers for what we're about to go do. Man, look at this thing. She is falling apart. go. Where'd you go? There you are. Get in there. She's got some gravity to her, so she should be able to get in there just fine. Ooh, but we're gonna need to cut another spot for the other side. starting to take a bit of a beating. Might need to repair it in a little bit. Is that everything? I think that might be it. That might be it. Oh no. We missed something in here. Oh, there it is. I see it. Now she should be able to go. Go ahead. There we go. 
Ooh. <laughs> How small am I? Now, if we wanted to get super technical, I could pull all these lights off too, but I'm not going to be that meticulous about this. There we go. Caution. Tether supplies are low. Are they now? Forgot. Three left. Oh, come on. What are you doing? Valuable object process. What am I missing? What's going on here? Oh no. What's happening? Am I getting sucked into the processor? Oh no. No, I'm getting sucked into the processor. No, come on. Oh, that was so close. We almost got sucked in, guys. I think that's, that's, we're just gonna end it there. That is way too close. remaining. Yeah, but she should be able to get in there like that. Alright, Cutter, you got five minutes left of this shift before they turn the lights out on you. Need her batter. We wrap. I think she's gonna make it, even though we almost got eaten by our own salvaging equipment. Man, that was insane. gonna make it Oop. there we go processing valuable objects thank you for your purchase thank you for your purchase yeah. have a nice day and it looks like it got all the components, so that's pretty much it for that. Let's go back in. See how we did here. Yeah, I know, we destroyed a bunch of stuff, but we made another million credits just off of what was left of the ship. Oh man, we only got we only gotta do this like a thousand more times. <laughs> Not too bad, though. Equipment. We got some points to spend. Ooh. Not too interested in that, but it would be nice to be able to upgrade some of the maneuverability stuff for the thrusters. A little bit more speed. Hopefully it'll make us more nimble, but that's going to be later. What does this do? The visor connects to a remote neural net. Gestalt analysis and determine what is being viewed provides relevant information from the links. Com I, I, I just want to know. I don't think it's going to be that all that useful, but I want to know what that does. Um, oh, this thing. Uh, so we did get repair stuff, right? So I can repair this. 
not worried about the grappler or the scanner, so... Cool. So yeah, uh, next thing we can do is we can upgrade to a different ship, something that's got a little bit more going on. Um, I think they kind of... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think they want me to go to this next ship. Uh, what are the differences here? It has a power cell, and that's one of the things I need to do for my mission. So that's why we need to do this one, because we can get a power cell. Well, this one only has a reactor. Okay. Cool. Oh, there's different... Okay. This is just training. There's different versions of the ship. Okay. Okay, okay, gotcha. So we got the mackerel training ship, and then these are mackerel variants from there. Okay, way makes way more sense. There's cargo and transport variants. Man, I'm starting to pick it up. Anyways, that's going to have to be for another episode, so I'm going to wrap it up here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed taking a look at something a little bit different. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one.